All right, people, welcome back. So, as you can tell by the title and by the image, we're using a new Yvel deck that's been in the making. This is actually Grey Doll Yvel. And I wanted to make, like, I was thinking of making, like, the, the thumbnail, like, a blue color. Like a, like a, like a teal-ish. And I was like, wait a minute, this is Grey Doll. <sighs> the image has to be gray, of course. So, the image is gray, but it's, like, a light gray. Because I think I already used a dark gray for, I believe, Zombie Vice Yvel. So... Yeah, just in case, just in case you're wondering, I have all of the thumbnails, current, previous, all, of, all the vitamin Y thumbnails, uh, still on my computer, so I can pretty much tell which colors I've already used, and I burn through a lot of them. I really do. I really do. So great, all you about. So uh, I think this deck seems pretty interesting. It really does. It seems interesting. It has access to you know. Uh, sync 8 plays, which, you know, I generally like with Yvel, because, you know, nice scrap dragon or start a spark, you know, not hating. But these guys are, like, straight up just snatch deals. So this card is destroyed by uh, battle or by a monster effect, i.e., you know, maybe like a, you know, one of your monsters or terror or something like that, and yeah, I can take your shit. And, you know, you guys get, know I love taking your shit. So this is their uh, uh, continuous spell. And I can use one of these effects, so... Uh, I really don't plan on uh, maybe setting a great all. The thing is, if I set this, if I play this, if I do that play right now, I will reveal my deck. So you know what? We'll just go ahead and do the classic play. We're gonna go ahead and drop these grotos are water, which is eh. You know, if they were dark, then there would be a lot more synergy. But you know, the, already the fact that you know I get to go ahead and snatch up your monsters and you know make sync plays, you know, I have no complaints. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the classic play. Go ahead and drop you bell. And if I need to take the duel slow. Shit, if I even need to crash my great all, then, you know, not bad. So this is only when it's destroyed by battle or by a monster effect. So this card goes really well with, I think, the alligator. Because I think each one of them has, like, battle. They're all guaranteed for battle, and then the other ones have each one. So eagle is destroyed by uh, uh, monster effects. And it's kind of the least useful one, especially with the use of, like, limit reverse and stuff. Then we have alligator who's, uh, okay, or we can just have my opponent quit here. Uh, alligator, who is destroyed by spells or in battle, and then we have the snake, who's destroyed by traps. So, there you go. And these are if, so they don't, no, they don't miss. So, it's not when, it's if. That's good. And, uh, like I said, I didn't want to reveal my deck, but I guess I could activate this in searched, which is pretty good, you know. And then we have split, who's also a pretty good card, so. You have to this by targeting your face up monster control against uh, five and track. So it's weird that this isn't a continuous trap, but it's just a trap that stays on the field. You just equip it. I don't know. So against five hundred attack, not bad. You know, and it's literally any face up monster you control, which is not terrible. I can make Armageddon a nineteen beater. Because <laughs> you know Armageddon, that would love to be a nineteen beater. And then you may say this card, is, the card is equipped to a monster by its own effect. You can send this card to a graveyard, destroy the equipped monster, and if you do, I can special summon two great on monsters with different names from my deck, but it is destroyed during the end phase. So pretty much that literally allows me to get access to sync 8. It's like literally that good. So, But I do believe if I equip that to Yubel, I will miss timing, because I believe Yubel has to be the last thing to resolve in the chain, and uh, you know, I'll be like, oh, destroy, and then uh, I'll summon the two monsters, and yeah, so. Uh, it depends. I, 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 had to, I didn't really read the card for, you know, Problem solving text, so I mean, I didn't really look for semicolons to see if there's a break in the chain, you know. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that will go down. But it seems like, you know, if I can go ahead and have like a tear on the field, use that, uh, great, use the great all split, go ahead and split it up, and, uh, go ahead and summon my alien dude and go ahead and sync it up into like a, a either spark and go ahead and stall out with the terror, or go ahead and, uh, uh, maybe summon a scrap dragon, scrap fat, destroy. Terror to show you your card. I'm an ultra nightmare. So, I said it seems like on paper this deck has some synergy, and you know we all of course know Snatch Steel is a very powerful card. You made an entire deck about Snatch Steel essentially. So, this card's actually pretty good too, because uh, of course they really only have three monsters and then the alien. So this deck kind of has some consistency issues at times. So, this card is great because. And my opponent try, tries to declare a direct attack at me, I can go ahead and special summon a great all monster in attack position. And despite, you know, some of the monster attack position, they can kill it, I'll go ahead and take the damage. They generally stop their attack because they, they don't want to lose their monster. So. I'm just talking up a sign. <laughs> because this man is taking forever to turn. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the duel slow. Go ahead and take the duel slow. Set you. Set you. 
get you. So I'd say Eagle is the least useful one. Uh, right now I'm playing all three of every Great because I want to test them, but uh, if, any, if any of the Great are going to get taken down, it's going to be Eagles, just because uh, they all have like just 2,000 added up stats. So Alligator has 500 attack, 1,500 defense, and then I think Snake has 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense, and then Eagle has 1,500 attack, 500 defense. So they, in, in comparison to, you know, like uh, uh, Alligator and the Snake, I don't even know what the snake's name is. Maybe it's just Great All Snake, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like Great All Serpent. I didn't even see it. Eagle, alligator. So I'm assuming snake. It looks like a. It looks like a snake. Oh shit! I say, is he gonna go? Is he already going to town on my butt? Is he already going to town? He might already be going down into town. This is something to, that they're destroyed during the end phase. Okay, that's fine. But I'm probably going to sync with them, so it's not terrible. So, I'm not sure if you're going to go ahead and XE, maybe into like a Blade Armor Ninja or something like that. And go for a real push, or what? Okay. And at least I don't have to worry about you X taunting me. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't have to worry about your ex telling me. It's actually one of the benefits of the whole, like, oh, yeah, the, the new rule. Where, well, it's not really new. It's, uh, this is the rule, so at least been a year where player one doesn't draw the additional card. So as long as I don't activate anything that pluses me, I should be down even if you ex time because you draw an additional card. Okay, so I thought you were going to go ahead and go into Blade Armor. So I'm going to go ahead and snatch that bitch up. That Blade Armor is looking extra fine. I really thought you were just going to come at me with the powerful challenger. I mean, but you're getting greedy. You are getting greedy. So that's fine. <laughs> hmm. Why did it get banished? Oh. There's some bad movement play one more. This card is destroyed by battle and center. Okay, destroy it all. Me a monster. The question is: is he, is he ballsy enough to go ahead and take his gigantus and ram it into me to destroy all spells and traps on the field? Because then he would he would get his blade armor ninja back, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. Okay, this is obviously main phase two. Yeah, I would say your rating is way too high for you not to be fucking for doing for doing this shit wrong. All right, so clearly I'm about to get it. It's great off splits, pretty good. Activate the token, it, so I would make his monster a 2700. Then during my main phase, I can, if this card is equipped to a monster by its own effect, you can send this card to the graveyard and then destroy the equipped monster. And if I do special summon two great offs from my deck, oh, it's Cobra. Ah, oh, I was saying Snake, Serpent. It's Cobra. There you go, great off Cobra, people. Uh, I mean, I should probably just go ahead and activate, like, all my cards, because I'm about to lose my shit anyway, because I'm going to kill this fool by battle. Well, no, I'm not going to kill him by battle. He's, uh, plus 1,500, so, wow, he is 3,400. He's about to try to fuck my day up. Activate this, equip to him. Okay. So I'm about to summon two gray dolls. It's the only one that's destroyed by battle, and this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Okay. Obviously, I, I thought he was going to be a little bit ballsy and go ahead and ram it into me, but I'm going to go ahead and use my effect, destroy, summon to, and then I guess I'll go ahead and go into Great All Dragon. It's a combination of all of them. He's like a Chimera. Interesting. He's like that. He has like an alligator face. Ooh, okay. So. That's fun. So you drop down to 2,900. Still stronger than me. It's not even a comparison right now. Hmm. I'm recording. You guys going out? Okay. Okay, have fun. I'm recording. I'm going to go ahead and go to defense. That, that sucks. I really wanted that play. I'm just a little bit slower. Go ahead. Go ahead. That sucks. I'm now, I'm now I'm just a little bit slower. That trap's done, though. <laughs>
What the fuck? This card is normally something you can target one monster on the field and change the target to face up defense position. So, go ahead and take your Gigantus, but of course this card resolves in the graveyard. Activate some resolve in the graveyard. No, it's still equipped. It's just equipped by your cards and counts for your spells and traps. Because you control, but yet it's my monster. So it's still equipped, so it counts for you. So he has 2900 attack. Or we could just sit here. I said, your rating is pretty high. I don't know why you would think that your Gigantus would be unequipped. He's still equipped. Just because I took him. If a monster is equipped and I snatch steal it, it's still equipped to the cards that it was equipped to. And put your, put your Magikarp back. Put your mage power back. Like why why would why would all of a sudden the gigantus be unequipped? Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? If you have a if you have a monster equipped with something, I snatch still it, it's still equipped. Why wouldn't it be? Your rating is pretty high. I thought you would know this. Why wouldn't it be? Explain to me why if I take your monster, why it's not equipped? It's not like it's not like Goyo Guardian where I killed your monster, went to the graveyard, and I'm summoning it back. I'm just taking your monster. Wow, you. I mean, you have a really high. <sighs> it's like snatch steel. If a monster is equipped, oh my god, I can't even type equipped with something and I snatched it. It 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 is still equipped by the cards to it. Uh mage power mage power is still equipped but counts for S strut you control. Because it's your card. It's still your card. Mage Power is still your card, but this is my monster now. I mean, it's not that difficult. It really isn't. It really isn't. That's what I'm saying. Even shit hits the fan, I still have my parasite here. So you know, shit hits the fan, and I lose my monster. I could just play parasite and then special summon a great off from my deck. Like this is good. Fucking split is good. Like all their cards are good. They're just kind of slow. Yeah. So. Yep. You know what? I really don't care enough. Whatever. Uh, you know, what? I I don't even care enough to fucking. I want to. I want to continue doing. I want to continue doing. That's it. So, um, if you guys cannot tell, I've split, who I don't mind sending, it's, it's a continuous trap. I got Limit Reverse, Oasis, I got Parasite, I have a lot of continuous traps, and uh, these cards are F, so they don't miss timing. So, a card that I'm actually playing is, and it's, a, it's only that I'll play in this deck because of the Gradles, if it was just a regular build deck, I would totally not do it, is um, Magical Planter. Because Magic Planner would not work with Ubel. I would miss timing. I would miss timing with Ubel. But because these are if and they don't miss timing, I can go ahead and, and you know revive one of my great alls. And instead of being like, alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and crash, I'll just be like Magical Planner, go ahead and destroy, draw. Yeah, exactly. The con the control of the equip does not change. Oh my god, I hit the fucking cap lock chain. But the equip remains on the monster. So it's not like, oh, I control your monster, I get your equip. No, it's still equipped to your monster. I just get control of your monster. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine.
I don't care enough. I don't even care enough to do it. I really don't. I'm just trying to find a balance of magical planners because I don't want to draw into too many of them, but they do seem pretty good, especially in this one because I have like 15 uh, continuous. Uh, I have like 15. To, like I said, I don't know why you would think that all of a sudden I take control of your monster, your equip card just gets unequipped all of a sudden. It doesn't work like that, but it's cool. It's cool. It's like, hey, if I snatch steal your monster and then you activate and snatch steal and take my monster and uh, and take your monster back with your snatch steal, my snatch steal is still equipped. It's just your snatch steal overrides my snatch steal, but it, it's cool. It's cool. It's, like I said, your rating is pretty high, so I thought you would have known things about that. I said, I don't, I, I don't even get the idea where you would think that would go wrong. God, Magical Planner would be great right now, but like I said, I'm, I'm in control of the duel. I'm just going to beat the living shit out of you. That's fine. Like I said, I am okay right now. I don't need none of these cards. I have a lot of revival. I can just take your fucking shit all I want. Like, oh my god. Shit hits the fan. I can go ahead and play. So maybe maybe I should play uh, three, what's it called? Magical Planters. I think I'm playing only one alien just because you can ride from your you can summon from hand or graveyard. There's eagle. Mm, like I said, magical planter would be great right now because of course I can't take this card right now. So this duel is just gonna go extremely slow. I can't get over this this booty right now. Mm-hmm. You got another one? Mm-hmm. Mm. When you declare an attack, I'm gonna have to activate Oasis. So my alligator back. So we crash. Uh, your effect. So, destroy this, destroy this, destroy this, destroy that. Effect. In your shit. Oh, wait, no. It wasn't sharp, but never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Because I was, I was destroyed, I was destroyed by the card effect of the trap. So, I don't get my effect. Which is cool, which is cool. I say Cobra would have been great right now. If Cobra wasn't in the graveyard yet for me to go ahead and activate that. If Cobra was in the graveyard, then yeah. But I believe that this would activate during the damage step because they were destroyed by battle, so their effects are resolving in grave after being destroyed by battle. So, so the suck thing is, is that that fucking this guy, oh split. Is it that? Is it that? Is it that? Is that this guy does pierce. It might have been better just to go ahead and summon an attack into him, but mm, like I said, Magical Planter seems like it's going to be really good in this deck to go ahead and take during my opponent's turn when I revive. Yeah, it should have been better if I would have just fucking... Uh, this is just target one... Sure about you could target one face on monster upon controls and equip it to a card and take it. I'll take you. Cause you already attacked, so I'm not worried about you. And I'm not even sure if he has any six effects to search yet. It might have Thousand Blade. Alright, so. I so said maybe it really would be good to go ahead and uh and uh run more magical planner because look at all these continuous traps I can just go ahead and send. I don't even care. I would love to just draw into more of my deck. Right now at the race I'm running is three Armageddon Knights, one Dark Graffer just in case with you Bell, and uh two Rotas. I think I uh, was uh, Forever Epic, I saw his deck profile of the Great Elden Hill and I'm like, you know what? If, if I'm running four warriors then two rotas seem practical. You know, especially when you bell is really the only thing I need to send in this deck. So now I'm just trying to think if I want to go ahead and do this play, and I think I do. I think I do. I don't know. I saw a lot of great old players playing Trish. I have no idea how to summon it, but there's Trish, so. 
So I can go ahead and equip Weird Al Split. And I'm going to use its effect. So I mean, two Gridel monsters with different names. I.e. being, it doesn't fucking matter, and definitely you. I'm about to do a sync play with you, so. So, you know, I saw a lot of Gridel monsters decks running like Surface and shit like that. I feel like the traps are better, personally. So, I'm going to go ahead and sync, but should I go into my boss monster? You have to wait one of these. You can only use each of these effects available. As far as I mean, you could target cards on your opponent controls up to another water monster just to destroy them. Yeah, this is the go to guy. It's definitely the go to guy, so. Great old dragon. Use my effect to destroy. I think this is interesting because, you know, Great Olds isn't on daily duels, so I've seen Great Olds here. Why not? Why not? I do a little bit of research, so. And we'll go ahead and Great All Dragon. So it is, it's a, what is this thing? A chimera? Or, I mean, clearly it says Great All Dragon, but there's no more to it. Because it's like all of them combined. It's clearly all of them combined. The body is the, is the slime. The head of the the alligator, the wings of the eagle, the tail of the snake. I think that's a chimera, isn't it? The tail of a snake, the head of... No, that's different. You think chimera is the head of the lion, of a lion, right? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't want to say too much, because he might have one more gigantus, and I really don't want him to go ahead and summon gigantus and then just crash into me. You know, that would suck some booty, so. Oh, well, I like Gradle, because, I mean, Eagle, because it has attack, and I can go on the offensive. Like I'm doing now, going on the offensive. So, and then the second effect is Shorter to Destroy. Battle by card effect, and I can target one of my... Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and then still. Alright, so I can go ahead and summon one of my Great Alls. I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, Eagle is pretty good because it goes really well with uh, Slime. So this card is in your hand or graveyard. You can target up to two Great cards you control. Destroy them if you do special summon this card. I'll use this effect. When this card is summoned this way, you can target... Okay, so I can destroy you two. Go ahead and summon Slime. And I think... If so... Uh, it would go chain link one, chain link two. So I'll take your monster if you have a monster, and then if this card, when this card is special summoned, you could target one Gradle monster or Gradle special summon that target. So then I can go ahead and summon one Gradle and go ahead and sync it again. Like I say, if I control two Gradle cards, I can go ahead and sync eight. I can. This is my main guy, of course, but I can go ahead and go into a Scrap Dragon to go ahead and uh, destroy this with Terra on the field. Uh, spark to go ahead and block and keep attacking, kind of like if they have pseudo beals. Uh, why, the reason why I have these sevens is because uh, these some of these cards actually have really good synergy with uh, Debris Dragon. Because Debris Dragon, of course, targets a 500 attack monster or less, and i.e. Alligator or Ubel. Uh, this course is a tuner, so there's really no point in summoning him, but, you know, Alligator. So I can go ahead and go Debris summon Alligator and then sink into seven, but of course it has to be a dragon. So, B rows if I need to. Hopefully not clearing, and then I have extra duck space, so I just put in moon, uh, moonlight. I could probably put in another scrap dragon just in case. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty fun. This is pretty fun. I continue this. Like I said, this card's good. This card's good. Uh, this card's good. So they have a lot of good shit. They really do. They have a lot of good shit. I can kind of see I'm running my my magical players, but I, have, I run a lot of camp traps. So I'm gonna up this up to three just to draw up more. Like I said, because you can clearly see when he when he summoned that uh that magical that metal reflects on him. I couldn't I couldn't get over it. You know I couldn't have anything to even crash until it was in defense mode. But I have my magical planner. I can activate, activate limit reverse summon magical planner. Get rid of it. Draw two. These cards are if so uh, they don't miss timing. I give it was when so if go ahead and with a start a separate chain. Go ahead and after the magical planner resolves, destroy and then take your monster. Okay? Especially uh. Especially Cobra, because Cobra, 
because the Cobra is the best, just because it would get its effect destroying the Oasis. Uh, Alligator is good because it gets its effect from being destroyed by my Searcher card. Great Oak Impact, so once per turn I can target one other Great Oak card you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them, and then I will get my effect. You know, this includes back row, so take my get my Alligator effect, take it off there, and then of course Equal is pretty good because it goes off with you Bell and with Terror, because it's destroyed by a monster effect, uh, and uh, uh, slime, but I tell you, equals nah, is an iffy one, but it does have 15 attacks, so it is the strongest beater. But eh, not worried about that. All right, people, so there we go, there we go. Use them gradles. I said they're a little bit slow, but hey, a deck that's based on snatch deals, I mean, come on, that's pretty good, right? So tell me what you guys think about the deck in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. With at this point, I don't know. I said we have so many. It's literally turned. The bottom why as of late has literally turned into whatever deck Daniel feels like, you know. And that's the problem is I'm a very structured person, and I definitely want to get back to a lineup. But you know, for right now, I'm having a lot of fun with all these Ubel X that are not on lineup. You know, I totally wouldn't mind taking down like Ubel XCs right now, and I don't mind Great Old Ubel replacing you know Cosmic Ubel. So I'm I'm just having a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So I don't know. I, I really want to get Supervised Spell working, but that deck is just in shambles right now. It's just a little bit too slow. It requires a lot more sending than usual. It's, you know, I got to send you Bell, and then I got to send Doom Summit, and I got to send Tinker. That's a lot of sending, you know? So I'm just not sure how well Supervised Spell is, but I really want to get it working. But it's just hard. It really is. Like I said, without all the chain, it really is hard. So I don't know what we'll use tomorrow, but you'll find out. And I'll find out. So, all, right. all right, people, so tell me what you guys think. If I got any of these wrong in the, the rulings, like I said, I think I did, because when I looked up deck profiles for Great Alls, people, a lot of people were running uh, the Magical Planners, and they were explaining that you don't miss timing, but if I do miss timing, go ahead and tell me. I'm not sure how, you know, tell me, especially, tell me how the, 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 the slime interacts with the eagle. I want to know that. So would it be like, all right, well, I'm going to destroy Eagle and some other greater card, special summon slime, and then would it go like Eagle effect to take your monster slime effect to summon? Go ahead and tell me that. I, wouldn't, I know I, that's the one I definitely am kind of unsure about. All right, people. Thanks for watching.